Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. We're gonna do somebody else's recipe today. Why? Because she's awesome. Her name is Tess. Tess cooks for you. Her and I have known each other uh, for a few years. Um, wonderful person, awesome cook. So I'm gonna put a link to her channel down below. Go check her out and uh, tell her Booger sent you. Anyway, she did a spicy chicken with some zucchini. And I just happen to have about a thousand zucchinis. So we're gonna do it. You guys ready? Let's go, chin chin. So. I'm already screwing this up, Tess, but I'm going to use chicken thighs. That's what I had. I didn't have any chicken breasts. So I've got three boneless, skinless thighs here that I cut up in the little pieces, about an inch thick piece, pieces. And we're going to put an egg white in there, some salt, and uh, I think she says three to four tablespoons of cornstarch. So let's see how that goes here. It's about good three and a half right there all right so we're going to mix that up you don't want to see all that be right back all right so before we start cooking the chicken i'm going to do the sauce because i got to change the angles with the air fryer and stuff so here i've got a three quarter cup of water she says water or broth and two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce again the recipe will be down below and two tablespoons of oyster sauce Okay, two tablespoons of garlic chili sauce. And a tablespoon of sugar. And two teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that up, put that aside, and let's get cooking. So I'm gonna use the uh, paddle, or I'm going to use the pan with the paddle, just take the paddle out, and I'm going to put a parchment liner in there because we're after the chicken's done, I'm going to take that out, and then I'm going to put the paddle in and do the vegetables and stuff. So these parchment liners, I have a link to that in description if you are interested. It comes in a pack of like a hundred, and I love them. It's, it's really nice to have sometimes. So to that, I'm going to spray some uh, olive oil, which I also have that in description. It comes in a two-pack uh, Evo sprayer bottles. One of them has olive oil. The other one has uh, Sang stir-fry oil, oil, which is garlic-infused oil. All my favorite things are listed down below, you guys, okay? So I'm going to spray that. Also, when you're cooking uh, meat with cornstarch, it sticks really bad. So it's good to have these liners for that reason only. So let me get the chicken. I'll be right back. So I'm just going to line... Don't overcrowd it. Don't let the chicken touch each other. We want these bits to, to fry, you know, evenly. I am not, um, oh, what was I going to say? My air fryer has a bottom burner, so I don't have to flip the chicken over. But halfway, you need to uh, flip your chicken over. So let me line this up and uh, when they're cooking, I'll let you know how long I cook them for. Bottom on, top on at four. Full blast. We are frying, okay? I'll let you know how long. Before I forget, when I'm frying something, about five minutes in, I spray the tops. I'm not going to spray it right now, but once we get a little crispiness going to it, then I'll spray the top. You don't have to, it's up to you, but it helps make them crispier a little bit. So, Also, while I'm cooking the chicken, I'm going to be making some uh, rice on the stove. So I'll be back. Guys, let's check it out. It's been about 10 minutes. Ooh, it looks good. So I've got my thermometer here. I'm going to check to see if it's reached the cooking temp. It's nice and crispy on the outside. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, yes. We are way above temp. Yeah, way cooked. So I'd say it's been cooked about three minutes ago, so seven minutes would have been just fine. So I'm going to do the second batch and um, we'll go from there. So I finished the second batch and yeah, it only took like six minutes to get to temperature, but you know, I wanted some crispy coating on it. So that's the bottom actually, what you see there, that's the top. Okay, I'll put that aside. And all I'm gonna do is take this liner thing off there and we got plenty of oil going on. So I don't need to add any more oil. I'm gonna put the paddle in there. All right, 
I've got two carrots sliced up and two stalks of celery and four to five garlic cloves that I sliced up and the whites of onion greens. So you use whatever vegetable you want. So we're gonna fry that up for, oh, I don't know, I'll let you know. I'm gonna turn it down to a three though. Onions tend to cook really fast in the air fryer, so a three is gonna be a good number, I'll let you know. Oh, hang on, I forgot a very, wait a minute, you know what it is? It's zucchini season, mm-hmm. And she had zucchini in her, so I was happy to see that. So the paddle starts turning right away because the pan is still hot on the chicken. So I'll let you know how long we do that. And then the next step. Okay, so we did that for about eight minutes. It's looking really good. Now we're gonna add that sauce that we made. All right. Don't touch where the paddle is, okay? You leave that paddle alone. Oh, it smells good. Smells good. All right, so we're gonna turn it up on high. I went to a four, the bottom's on, and I'll let you know how long we do that. That was about five minutes, and I'm gonna turn it off here. I'm gonna look, oh my God, look how thick that sauce got. Yes. So I'm gonna put the chicken in there, and this is just to toss everything about, okay? I put, turn the bottom off, and the bottom one is just do it on a one. We're just trying to stir the chicken in there with the sauce and the vegetables. Probably take about one to two minutes. We'll be back. Guys, right, two minutes. Is that not beautiful or what? Is that not beautiful? So I'm going to plate it with some rice and taste. I got my rice. In case you missed it. Wow, is that beautiful. I'm going to try to do this left-handed, so bear with me. The color is just gorgeous. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow. Right? So she put some onion greens on there. There we go. Let it cool and take a picture. Did you guys see? Look at that. And I'll be right back. Okay, Tess. <laughs> I tell you, this is not my expertise, so I guess we'll figure it out as we go, right? I don't know. Let me try it. Ugh, okay. Ooh, ooh, look at that. I got a bite of something. <laughs> mm hmm. Delicioso. Mmm. That's a keeper. You guys, Tess cooks for you. I'm not kidding. Beautiful recipe, Tess. I will be, the, the chicken's got a, a nice light crunch to it. Moist and tender. A chicken breast takes a little bit longer, so that's why I thought 10 minutes. But six, seven minutes on the thighs is good enough. The chicken's not dried out at all, so it really doesn't matter. But it's beautiful. Wait a minute, let me try a zucchini. Mmm, oh yeah. Mmm, that's good. All right. Beautiful recipe. Spicy, just enough though. I could do more, but it's, it's perfect for the ones that don't do spicy too much. That's delicious, Tess. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.